Hey, Internet, Harris here. So, Notability has been one of my favorite note-taking applications for my iPad for a long time. I mean, it's one of the big two. It's, it's pretty popular, um, and it's got the ease of use, the streamlined and really simple user interface, as well as the voice recording, which makes it amazing for students to be able to play back lectures and review at any point. But it had one big omission. It didn't have a Mac version. Okay, uh, correction. It did have a Mac version, it just wasn't any good. In fact, I had the Mac version before, but I didn't use it. Now, granted, I never really cared about this. I didn't use my Mac for note-taking. I didn't use my Mac really for school that much at all in the study or the note-taking process. But ever since I got the M1 MacBook Air and I realized just how fast and portable laptops could be with the M1 chip, I started taking notes on my Mac sometimes, not just my iPad. I also learned how much faster typing out notes could be versus using an Apple Pencil. So I found myself oftentimes using Apple's notes or GoodNotes when I wanted to type up my notes in class, but obviously if I was using Notability for handwritten notes with the Apple Pencil, this is just something that I couldn't use together. But the good news is that as of today and whenever you're watching this, Notability and Ginger Labs is bringing the app to the Mac via Catalyst software, which means it'll be very, very similar to the iPad experience and very compatible with the iPad software, and it'll bring it right over to your Mac. So now you can have it on your iPhone, your iPad, and your Mac, which is awesome. Now, logistically, this is going to be free for anybody who is already a Notability user, which is awesome. That's great news. So if you have it for the iPhone or the iPad, it's going to be a free upgrade to Notability for the Mac, which I think GoodNotes actually does require you to pay in order to get that. So that's definitely a nice feature and it's great for Notability to be doing that. You don't have to pay extra for this. Um, additionally, if you have not gotten Notability before and you're a first time user, they're reducing the price temporarily to $399, which is uh, more than half off, which is awesome. It's a really good deal. Four bucks is totally worth it to get this software if you're brand new to it. And otherwise, it should have all the new features that you're used to with Notability for your iPad. And this includes things such as their new advanced shape detection, your favorite toolbar, which is something that was missing before but now is here. You have the new paper backgrounds, you have the digital planners, stickies, and, and math conversion all compatible with this. And what's actually super interesting about this is that you can still use your Apple Pencil with this experience, with Notability for the Mac. To do this, you of course need to use Sidecar, so you gotta have your Mac and your iPad together, but it now means that if you are using that setup, if you are using your Mac for your workstation and you have your iPad connected, you don't have to exit Sidecar to get into Notability. You can have Notability pulled up for um, the full ex experience on your Mac, and then also use your iPad with this Apple Pencil for adding notes or annotations or highlights or anything like that, which is awesome. So here is the old version of Notability, and here is the new one, and as you can tell, this comes straight from the iPad, so it's basically like an extension of the iPad app for the Mac, and that's really the point of this. So we have the same interface and just improved design that we have from the iPad, and now you have all the same features. So if you want to annotate a document with the highlighter or the pen tool, you can do that, and then you just go ahead and click on the tool and you get all your different options, just like on the Mac, and then you can add something to your favorite to have your favorites toolbar. And if you're using a highlighter, you can use the auto straighten feature to auto straighten your highlights, which definitely helps on the Mac where you have just less precision with a trackpad than an Apple Pencil. And you probably won't wanna be writing things with your mouse cursor, that's just not super ideal. But there is the text box, of course, so if you add a text box and you can date this, so I can say uh, September 16th, 2020, and you know, add that or just type all my notes out like that, or have some type of combination of Apple Pencil and um, Notability. But basically the thing is that I can go back through and edit anything that I want to with this, including you know the selection tool, I can move notes around, uh, I can draw shapes, so if I want to do a square, I can do that, and then I can go back in and select that, and I can right click and click uh, style, and from there I can change the border as well as the fill. So again, it's just everything you could do on the iPad, but now on your Mac, and of course you also have the voice recording feature, 
So that's great to bring that. Uh, we had it before, but it brings the new features such as being able to edit, merge, delete, and enhance your audio files and stuff like that, including voice boost. So it's really, really great. So then of course you have your page view and you can go into your uh, the store. So you can come in here and, and check out all the new things that they have going, planner theme, all this kind of stuff, math conversion, which is a new feature they have. And then you have just a lot of cool stuff and you can change your theme and you can buy more themes and add your stickers and stuff like that so this is great uh, basically just bringing the iPad version to the Mac which is awesome not that everyone's going to be using the pen tool again but if you want to you can you can add your images or documents uh, stuff like that and you can copy and paste and drag around and do whatever you need uh, for notability on the Mac so if you're a Mac user and you use Notability, this is fantastic, especially if you're using an M1 MacBook Pro or MacBook Air, this is going to be great news because it's going to be fast and reliable and just awesome. Let me know your thoughts down below and if you wanna see any other comparisons or videos like this. And then make sure to check out some of my other student reviews and lifestyle videos and stuff like that. Uh, there'll be a lot more coming soon, a lot more planned. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.